I'm at a research workshop in number theory, and I proposed an open problem for graduate students or postdocs uh, to work on. So let me show you what an open problem in number theory looks like, a problem that nobody in the audience was able to solve. And I honestly have worked on this for many years and I don't know how to solve it. Let me first introduce some notation. SL2 are two by two matrices with determinant one, and then that indicates what are the coefficients. So SL2Z are two by two matrices with integer coefficients and determinant one, uh, while this is uh, two by two matrices and the coefficients are polynomials with integer coefficients. Now there is a map that goes from here to here that sends X to zero. For example, this matrix has determinant one, and when I send X to zero, it gives me the identity. That means that this matrix is in the kernel of that homomorphism. So I'm going to define the kernel to be gamma X. So gamma are precisely those matrices in here, matrices with polynomial coefficients, such that they are the identity when I reduce modulo X. So for example, this polynomial or this matrix right here is in the kernel, so it is an element of gamma x. Now, let n bigger or equal to 2 be some integer. Then these uh, matrices that have polynomial coefficients can be evaluated at x equals n, and then I get a group of numerical matrices, matrices that now have uh, integer coefficients. So for example, when I evaluate this one at x equals n, I get this matrix with n an integer. This is just an element of SL2Z. And the question, the research level question, is the following. Is gamma tilde of n equal to the usual gamma n? Gamma n is what we call the congruent subgroup uh, modulo n. So gamma n are matrices in SL2Z that are the identity modulo n. And the question is whether we get all of them by evaluating gamma x at x equals n. For example, let n be equal to 3. It turns out that gamma 3 is generated as a group by these three matrices. And each one of those three matrices are an evaluation of gamma x. So for example, this matrix comes from this one when I evaluate at x equals 3. This one comes from this one at evaluating x equals 3. And this one, when I evaluate at x equals 3, gives me this one. That means that all of the matrices in here will actually be generated by evaluations of these three matrices in gamma x. So gamma tilde of 3 is equal to gamma 3. I have done numerical computations myself, and I know it is true at least for 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. And the question is, is it true for other values bigger or equal to 8? Is it true for all n? Or if it is not true for all n, for what values of n is it true? 